This is Jody. He's having some anterior shoulder pain. So we're going to assess to find out if there is bicipital tenosynovitis. We look at his posture from a lateral view and he does have a forward shoulder. The head of the humerus is anterior and it is also superior, which is really a common posture when there is bicipital tenosynovitis. That bicipital tendon coming up starts to tether and has wear, increased wear and tear because of that forward shoulder. This is an excellent test to see if we can provoke some of that pain and identify to make sure it is actually bicipital tenosynovitis and not a referral coming from supraspinatus tendinopathy. So we start with elbow flexion at 90 degrees. We bring him up to about 45 degrees. The line of drive is to bring him into, relax, into shoulder extension, which is going to be elongating the bicipital long head. Pain will usually be at the neutral position to maybe 10 to 20 degrees past it. This is what we're looking for. So let's find out. So I'm going this way. Allow me to do it, but make it difficult for me. Just some communication with the patient. And hold. Um, allow me to do it though, okay? And go. Okay, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, is that causing any pain? A little bit. Okay, and what number on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the worst, what would you say that pain is? About a four. Okay, and relax here. And should we identify where that pain is? Is this where you're getting that pain? Some cross fibering, the bicipital tendon. So the test then confirmed with palpation. All right, because it belongs to the lung sinew channel, let's go ahead and stimulate either lung six being the she cleft points, or we can use a point like lung seven, which would be great to use. In this particular one, we can also use lung nine being the source point. We have a she cleft point, a source point, and the luo point. Let's go ahead and use the most tender point. So we know that from lung five, lung six is going to be another five. Soon uh, distal, how does that feel right there? Is that tender at all? A little bit, yeah. Ooh, how's that one right yeah, there? Yeah, more tender. Okay, so then now, how's that one right there? Not bad. So that one's more tender? Yes. Okay. All right, so we're going to use the she cleft points. Okay, you okay there? Mm -hmm. You feel that pretty well? Yeah. Okay. All right, to patient comfort, bring this up. If that starts to irritate you at all, then we're going to back that off, okay? So we're going to do the exact same examination. All right, so I'm going this way. Allow me to do it, but make it difficult. Let's see if there's any decrease in pain. So that four went down to a uh, one. Okay. So then we know that we're going to be stimulating the lung sinew channel for this, especially at lung six, in addition to other points and exercises to bring that forward shoulder back.